Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today's just going to be kind of a quick, fun video. I want to share with you something that I recently purchased that I thought was pretty cool, and I think you guys might think is pretty cool as well, and they're definitely useful. So what we're going to be taking a look at today are these crates. So you can see we have writing on them. These crates are originally intended for freedom seeds. These ones are Yugoslavian, and we actually get these because companies are, they're buying product from overseas, they're getting pallets of these crates that already have the product inside. They're taking out all the product, selling that uh, on their website, and then whatever you know pallets worth of crates that they have left over, they actually sell these crates right here. Uh, I bought this as a four pack, and for the four pack of these, uh, it was only like $59.99. I don't have any type of affiliation with this company or anything like that, um, so I don't have a discount code, but I do have links over at my website. Uh, my website is linked down below. It's thedailyshooter.com, so you can go over there, find a direct link to these because these kind of come and go, but uh, they're really neat. They still come with a span can inside, so I'm going to move the camera and show you guys what it looks like, all the markings and stuff, and then I'll show you the inside with the spam can and then one without the spam can. Now they send them to you completely random so you don't know you know exactly which kind you're gonna get. There's some smaller, longer, flatter ones and you get these taller ones. I was lucky enough to get all the exact same uh, except for the locks. The locks are a little bit different but that's it. So let's go and move the camera and we'll take a closer look at these uh, pretty cool Yugoslavian crates. This channel is proud to be supported by the Firearms Policy Coalition. Make sure you check that link in the description box, become a member, and donate when you can, because these guys are no compromise. They're going to be on the front lines of fighting for our Second Amendment rights, and they need our help. So again, check that link to the Firearms Policy Coalition. And one of the most important links that you might ever click is to the USCCA. Make sure you check that link down below, click on it, and become a member of the USCCA. Give yourself that peace of mind that, trust me, you deserve. It is 150% worth it. Okay, so here's one of the cans. This one actually has a different clasp on it than the one that I showed you before. This one right here still has the uh, spam can on the inside, so I wanted to show you that. And then we'll switch them out. I'll show you the other lock that's on the other one and then what it looks like on the inside, you know, just the bare wood so you guys can kind of see the condition. Again, they send you a four pack, it's like $59.99, and you get a four pack of these wood crates right here. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open so I can show you what it looks like on the inside with that uh, spam can still in there. So if we open it up right here, you can see there was 1200, 762 right there. And you can see where they opened it up. So basically these retailers, they'll get them, they'll open them up, like I said before, they'll take out the contents and then they'll package it for resale on the website, right? But uh, it's actually a really nice thick wood box and the condition of all of the ones that I got, at least the four that I got, were all really good. So I was really impressed with that. Um, again, I'll show you the, uh, the raw wood here in just a second so you can get an idea for the condition. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other markings. So here is the front of the crate right there. Again, you can read that. Uh, I believe it's, again, Yugoslavian. Side of the crate right there. Some of these have... Uh, other stickers and stuff like that on them. So each one is, you know, just a, a little bit different. Here is the other side of the crate right there. You can see the nice metal and wood handles. That's what the bottom of the crate looks like. Pretty standard, you know, nice uh, kind of old mill serp look to it. It's got that green paint with all the yellow writing on it. So that's what one of the cans looks like. Let me go ahead and put that other one back up here and show you guys the raw wood. Okay, so here's a look at the other crate. Now, I can tell you these are about 10 inches tall. Uh, my wife, as a matter of fact, just ordered uh, another pack of four of these because she's going to go ahead and stack these up. She's going to put some bolts through, link them together, and she is going to make an end table for me that, you know, I could put my stuff on, a lamp and, you know, whatever, and just kind of make it look like a, a, you know, cool little project that she can work on. So, you know, you can use them for whatever you want. They can be decorative or you can, you know, store stuff in them. I can tell you right now, if you put a bunch of stuff in here, you know what I'm talking about, a bunch of freedom seeds in here and you really fill this thing up, these things are really heavy, really heavy. So just try and keep that in mind as well. So uh, again, this one is pretty much the same thing. It does have a different clasp on the front of it. So instead of having that, the hinge that you would open up, this has these two little things right here that you rotate into the upward position. And then once they're lined up with those little holes, then you can go ahead and open up the front of those like that. And then this one, I took the uh, spam can out so that you guys could see what it looks like inside. Now, this is actually 
out of all of them, this one's probably in the worst condition and it still looks pretty good. So you can see there's solid wood. There's a lot of space to put stuff in here. I mean, this is a pretty cool thing to put your tools in or you know, anything else you want to put in there. You don't have to put in you know, what it's actually meant for. But out of all of them, I wanted to show you this one because this is, again, probably the worst condition one that I got. So that was kind of surprising to me. And uh, they're cool crates. So, you know, for those people out there that just want something different, they like the look of that kind of mill serp look and, you know, have some type of creative side, uh, this might be something that you'd be interested in as well. Again, you get four of these crates for $59.99 and it's a mixture of four. So you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know how good they're gonna be or, you know, what the quality is or anything like that. You're just gonna get four crates that they have available so as far as i understand they could even be different sizes uh have different things in them from the get-go i mean who knows but i was lucky enough to get four that look just like this and i'm pretty excited about it because uh, i've got plans for these to take things out of metal cans and i'm going to put them in here and this is going to be my storage for you know shtf pick up throw in the truck and get out of town. So like I said, I got these, plus my wife's got some projects coming up to make an end table. Show you guys that if it turns out cool and uh, definitely check them out. So again, check out my website, thedailyshooter.com. You'll find links uh, and stuff like that over there. And again, I don't have any discount codes or anything, but just a cool little item that uh, I thought you guys might be interested in. So thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification next to it and support those people that support us and support this channel with the links down below. Thank you all again. Have a great day.